River State's government remains committed to infrastructure and human capital development. This assurance is from the State Ministry of Information as political activities intensify ahead the 2023 general, general election. Senior reporter Uche Okoro has details. It's Chris Finebone's maiden press conference since he assumed office as Commissioner for Information and Communications last week. He speaks for the River State government which has less than seven months left before a new administration is inaugurated. <laughs> Expectedly, the political atmosphere in River State is already heated up due to the forthcoming election. The PDP led state government is fighting opposition from some of its own party leaders while also doing its best to outshine other political parties. But in spite of this, the government says it will continue to deliver the dividends of democracy until the last day. In the coming days, more specifically from the 14th instance, the state government will spend the next 17 days commissioning further landmark projects which include the Dr. Peter Adelaide Cancer and Cardiovascular Diseases Diagnostic and Treatment Center, Nabo Graham Douglas Campus, Nigerian Law School, Port Harcourt, amongst several other landmark projects. The detailed commissioning program will soon be announced. The government also defended some of its decisions, which some persons consider to be a witch hunt of perceived political enemies. Some of these controversial moves include the derecognition of Celestine Omeya as former governor and the retrieval of property from another former allied governor, Nyesom Wike. Recently, there were attempts by some persons to deploy disinformation and misinformation to tarnish the image of the governor before Nigerians. It is important to state that if a friend decides to turn an enemy, he or she has voluntarily re relinquished all privileges friendship brings. You cannot call off your friendship and still expect the largesse that arises out of that friendship to still be available to you. Who does that? The commissioner said plans are already been made to ensure a smooth handover of all government ministries, departments and agencies to the next administration. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.